Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to find cash buyers by using Craigslist. So let's go to Craigslist homepage. Craigslist gets a lot of bad stigma because a lot of people have different experiences on Craigslist depending on what they're doing. But since we're looking for cash buyers today, this is one of the best outlets I use to find active cash buyers. Yes, you have to weed and see through some of the buyers to actually get an actual cash buyer that's serious. But the people that you find are, are great. You get a lot of international buyers from Craigslist because this is what they use to contact people in the States with great properties. So as you can see, you can search by city, state, um, or even by Canada. So I never post anything in Canada. I am in Pennsylvania. But see, look, you can use this strategy for anywhere in the world, specifically anywhere in America right now. Well, we're going to focus on Pennsylvania, my hometown. Okay, so now we're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I like to go through landlords. So every single property you see right here can be a potential lead for a cash buyer, or you could turn them into a motivated seller. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So none of this stuff right now is really relevant. On this side, so what I like to do, I just like to start by clicking. So you guys, I want you to get together your notepad or I want you to get together a system that is, allows you to take their emails and their phone numbers and store it. A system that we like to use here at Greenwood, it's called MailChimp. And MailChimp, it allows you to actually store information so when it comes time to blasting out your properties to your cash buyers they will all be able to get it at once but i just want to let you guys know when you're starting out you do not need to buy a cash buyers list it only takes one person to buy a property you don't need two thousand people to buy one property so you really want to get to know what your cash buyer is like, because if you know what your cash buyer is like, it makes your it makes your buying and selling process so much easier. Because if you could provide them with exactly what they want and they have the money, they'll buy it all day. So right here, this is MailChimp, and you could build audiences. And all of these people are on my mailing list. You simply go ahead and add a subscriber. So let's go ahead back to Craigslist. So we got Craigslist right here. You see this property? I like to contact actual landlords. I really don't like contacting property management companies because property management companies sometimes will, uh, you know, they'll not, they'll not be as interested in selling as an actual motivated seller. Because you're going through a third person to get to the seller. And by the time it gets to the seller, the motivation might be out the picture. So I would just take this number right here. And I will copy it. And I would give the I would give the owner a call. And eventually I will find out his name. And I will get his email. So let's just say Mr. Seller. Let's say his last name is Moneybags. Email address. I got. Okay. 
So you could go ahead and enter all this information. You could enter as much as possible. And this information is very useful for when you want to go back and, and you're blasting the property out to your buyers. So now you got their first name, their last name, their email, and a phone number, a valid phone number. So I would say, hey, Mr. Seller, my name is Stephen Long. I'm a local investor. And I noticed that your property, um, let's see, I would have the address. 123 Main Street is for rent. Well, I'm an actual buyer, or you can tell them you're an investor, or you can even tell them you have investors, depending on what type of approach you like to do. And you tell them that I'm actually interested in this property. Are you interested in selling? And from there, there's usually only two answers. You can say yes or no. Those are the two main answers. If there's a couple more, you can say maybe not right now, maybe in the future. But we'll, and later in this video, we will show you guys some rebuttals, how to get around the six major things that sellers say when you're calling during a cold call. But this situation, he could become a buyer or he could become a seller. Because if he doesn't want to sell you the property, you could tell him, hey, Mr. Seller, I also have properties in this area. Are you interested in purchasing more and increasing your portfolio? And a lot of times, sellers do want to increase their portfolio. Because at the end of the day, he who owns the land owns the world. So let's go to another property. They just scroll through this all day. This one been on the market for 12 days. This one been on for 29 minutes. You could give them a call if you want. But I really like to search for properties that have been on Craigslist for at least 30 days. Perry Highway. See, this might be a good one right here. Rent to own Pittsburgh. Oh, that's a pretty nice property. Some pretty good pictures. It's only been on the market two hours. Very easy commute to Pittsburgh downtown. They don't have a phone number. We can't give them a call. But emails are just as good as calls in most occasions. Let's see if we can find a good one. Mount Washington, one bedroom. Okay, Michelle. So we got another one. So here we go. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? My name is Stephen Long, and I'm an actual cash buyer in the area. I seen your property is for rent, and I'm actually interested in purchasing it. Would you be interested in selling? Boom, right there. Another opportunity to create a motivated buyer or motivated seller. So like I said, this is one of my favorite strategies. And let's go. I will show you another one. And for this one, I recommend you to create a Craigslist account. And what we will be doing for active cash buyers to see. And I'm telling you, this right here, this gets you so much exposure. So click on housing offer. So this is letting people know that you're offering property to the rural real estate by owner. And this thing right here, you want to fill out all this information. But I don't want to bore you guys to death. So I already went ahead and I filled it out. Let me go ahead and find it for you. Here we go. All right. So look, you want to be straight to the point. You want to give them enough information to want more. So right here, three bed, one bath, cash flow, and Swissville, 90K. So if you buy in Swissville, this, this is it for you. If you're a Swissville buyer, you'll know exactly how much it costs exactly what you're getting you want to give them a quick property description are you looking for an easy cosmetic flip of course everyone wants a cosmetic flip numbers don't lie straight to the point this property is it this is a solid brick property it's currently owner occupied 
give them a couple comps three valid comps which i use the zillow strategy to get these comps and houses in this area do not last for no time at all so you want to go through you want to fill all this information out and give them enough information to buy it's like you're fishing you don't want to give the fish too much food if you put too much food they'll take it they'll take a bite and they'll be able to run you want to give them just enough where you can get them caught you want to put your phone number here text yeah go ahead text is fine phone calls are fine my name is steve give me a call okay we got some pictures as you see you always want to use the best picture first so that this shows you this is a pretty nice neighborhood solid brick house nice bedroom nice detached garage in the back of the house overall it looks like a great property so from here you want to go ahead you want to publish this and once you publish this if it's a pretty good deal usually you get a response within 10 to 30 minutes after you post it you'll have someone sending you a text message a phone call or an email and that right there lets me know the property i'm working with is a pretty good deal we always allow room for our, our cash buyers and our buyers to make money because every deal is not going to make you rich. You got to keep, you know, you got to keep the volume. If you do volume, the more deals you do, the more money that you'll make. So do not try to get rich off of one deal. Build relationships with these buyers. Find out exactly who they are. Find out what they like. Okay, so we're done here. So let's go back to the actual apartment search. I want to show you guys one more thing. And this will help you target the cash buyers. So let's say I got that property for sale in Swissville. I just made a post in Swissville. Three bedroom, one bed for $90,000. Doesn't need much work, just needs a little bit of paint. So what I'll do is I'll do a reverse search. And I'll go to find Swissville Landlords. Oh, boom. Here we go. You can send them an email. Also send them a phone call and a text message if, they're, if you're able to. So there you go right there. There goes one, one potential buyer. There goes another potential buyer. Let's see what else we got. Swissville is booming. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, this looks like it's a property management company. So I simply give them a call. Hey, how are you? I noticed that you got a property on Lafayette. And I actually have a property right around the corner for a very reasonable price and it's cash flowing. Would you be interested in purchasing this property? What are they going to say? Yes or no? If they say yes, I'll provide them some information. If they say no, I'll say, well, if you're interested in selling your property, we are also looking to purchase more property in the area. So uh, feel free to give me a call because I could come out to your property today or tomorrow. Which one works best for you? And from right there, hopefully you can set up an appointment and there, there you go. You got yourself a motivated seller. All right, that's it for this video. If there's anything that you missed, if there's something that you don't understand, just slow it down. Go back and watch the video before this and watch this video again. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.